the hottest situation remains in the Pokrovsky direction. There, the Russian invaders lost more than 200 people killed and wounded. In total, 120 military clashes took place at the front. General Staff of Ukraine said this. As reported by the military command, units of our aviation, missile forces and artillery have made impressions on three control points for areas of concentration of weapons and military equipment for areas where enemy personnel are concentrated. It is noted that over the course of 24 hours, the enemy launched four missile strikes and 45 airstrikes across Ukraine and used 407 kamikaze drones. He carried out more than 2,300 attacks on the positions of our troops and populated areas using various types of weapons. The enemy did not carry out active offensive operations in the Kharkov direction. The situation has not changed. In the Kupiansk direction, the number of engagements increased to 14. The occupiers attacked in the areas of Sinkovka, Stepnaya Novoselovka, Stelmakovka, Berestovoy and Peskany. Ten attacks were repulsed without success for the enemy, for are still ongoing. In the Lyman direction the situation is tense, the total number of enemy assault operations has increased to 12. The enemy is trying to dislodge our soldiers from their positions near Grakovka, Nevsky, Novosadovoy and Serebryansky forests. For attacks were repulsed by our defenders, eight engagements are currently ongoing. The defense forces are taking immediate measures to prevent the aggressor from advancing deeper into the territory of Ukraine. The personnel of the 3rd Specialized Brigade should be noted for successfully completing combat missions, moving forward in certain areas and inflicting significant losses in manpower and equipment to the Russian occupiers. The enemy has already attacked 10 times today in the Seversky direction. Nine enemy assaults near Verknekomensky, Sporny, Razdalevka and Vyemka were repulsed, one attack continues. Defenders are taking measures to stabilize the situation. In the Kramatorsk direction, the enemy tried 12 times to oust units of the defense forces from their positions in the areas of the settlements of Kalinovka, Chesov Yar, Andrivka and Klishchivka. The aggressor is not giving up attempts to advance to Chesov Yar, where four military clashes are currently ongoing. In the Toritsk direction, one engagement continues, the situation is under the control of the defense forces. For enemy attacks were repulsed by our defenders. The situation in the Pokrovsky direction remains the hottest. The enemy is not abandoning attempts to break into our battle formations in the areas of the settlements of Novo-Alexandrovka, Vazdvazenka, Kalinovo, Evgenivka, Sokol and Novoselovka Purveya. The aggressor remains most active on the Okaratino side, where two-thirds of the military clashes took place, and enemy assault operations are currently ongoing. In total, 36 attacks occurred in this direction. The defense forces are carrying out stabilization actions. In the Kurikovsky direction, the enemy is trying to break into our battle formations near Karlovka, Krasnogorovka, Nevelskoy, Georgievka, Konstantinovka and Paraskovivka. Of the 11 enemy attacks, 7 were repulsed without success for the enemy, and hostilities continue. In the Orikovo direction, the enemy's attempts to attack our defenders in the Malaya Takmachka area were unsuccessful. At the same time, the aggressor intensified its efforts to oust units of the defense forces from the left bank of the Dnieper in the Dnieper direction. 7 enemy attacks were unsuccessful. Loss of positions and territories is not allowed. In other areas, there were no significant changes in the situation.